You know what I love to see, people? That right there. Made in the USA. You clicked on the video, you know why we're here. Today we are talking about the Therm Cell Vault XL. Stay tuned. So in case you guys don't know exactly what you're looking at, um, common sense ain't that common anymore. <laughs> it's a little storage container. It's air and water tight, and uh, it actually clips onto your kit. So it's super convenient and something that I've found really, really useful throughout the years. I've got a few of these uh, smaller ones. This is the biggest one I currently own. I think they make even bigger ones than this and like whole little battery sectional organizational things and boxes and uh, phone protectors and all types of stuff, ITAC, ATAC units and protector things and all that stuff. So, um, but they're cool and they're not crazy money. And again, it is made in the USA, not in China. So it's going to be properly, you know, made stuff. It's going to be, you know, durable polymer or plastic or whatever this is. The O-ring seal on it is going to be a solid one. It's not going to be some fly by night Chinese bullshit. And that's important because the things that you would be keeping in here for whatever designated purpose you choose to use it uh, are pretty important and quite literally in some circumstances life-saving equipment. So uh, let's get it out of the packaging and kind of talk about what we got going on here. Uh, but real quick, a look at the packaging. We'll talk more about it. Up to six CR-123s and two 18650s. And then of course it lists other things you can put in there. Fire starting stuff, survival stuff, valuable stuff, keys, important information, whatever it may be. Um, I actually like the packaging, how they did this. Very simple. Boom. As simple and easy as that. And uh, we'll give you a look at the back here. Keep your batteries and critical gear safe, dry and accessible. And uh, pretty self-explanatory. So this isn't going to be a freaking 20 minute long video about this simple little apparatus. But uh, it is being brought to your attention because I think things like this are pretty important and give you a great option for stowing equipment that you might need. Having it on hand with your other kit and keeping the internal components protected and dry and with you attached to your equipment. So um, they make them in a couple different colors. I think black, tan, maybe green, something else. Uh, I haven't seen any camouflage ones, but I don't necessarily think that you need that. Here is a look at the uh, the Cell Vault XL up close and personal. Again, that is from Therm or Therum or whatever. I don't know exactly how it's supposed to be pronounced, but uh, let's give you a look at it here. So simple, simple mechanism. We've got a couple attachment points. So here you can loop a lanyard through, you know, paracord, whatever. You can also do that up top here on the lid. And then, of course, this bolts right into your molly. So let's give you a look at that real quick. All right, so here is a little pouch that comes with the Somo Gear PEC 15 clone that I bought. And uh, no big deal, just a molly pouch. Um, you can keep the unit in there or whatever else you choose to use uh, as far as inside of this little tiny piece of kit. And uh, it is molly compatible, of course, in a multitude of ways. And yada, 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 no big deal. That's not what we're here to talk about today. This is simply going to be used to show you that it's molly compatible in this, that, and the third. Although that should probably be blatantly obvious if you guys are into this stuff but either way I digress in case you're not and you're new to this welcome you're amongst friends anyway um, this is also not an endorsement of the Somo gear anything um, I did get the PEC-15 Delta clone. I do believe it's the two-tone black and tan. It is definitely a full power IR laser and IR illuminator, and um, I have zero rounds through it. I mounted it to the gun. I tested the, the output and the power and the different settings. If you're interested in any of that, make sure you check all those previous videos. Uh, they're on the channel. You can type them out, whatever, ta terribly tactical, Somo gear, whatever it may be. Um, and it's working very well in that regard. Um, but as far as it holding zero or holding up durability-wise long-term, um, I'll tell you what, it's good out of the box. There's nothing wrong with it out of the box. It mounted perfectly fine to the rifle. Uh, seems really sturdy and, again, super, super bright as far as the IR laser and illuminator is concerned. But uh, I am not recommending it. I purchased it to test and mess around, and if nothing else, it'll be a toy. And that's cool, but also just even as a handheld unit, which I'm getting off on a tangent here, terrible tangents like share, comment, subscribe, uh, I think as a handheld unit to illuminate or laze targets or 
LZs or areas you're traveling to or whatever it may be, I think it's still for the money has a lot of utility, uh, even if you're not going to be mounting it to a gun. But anyway, huge digression aside, um, little molly pouch, molly straps, standard spacing, all that. Um, you put whatever you're going to put inside of your therm, keep it air and water tight, and then this little latch goes through the molly, no big deal, and then clips and locks into place. So now you have whatever you know your container is carrying latched onto the outside of your pack, or obviously you could just throw it on the inside of your pack, or if the inside of your pack, much like my Mystery Ranch ASAP pack, uh, has molly on the interior, it's a good way to organize stuff and, and, and keep it in a designated location, and hey, I know where this stuff is, it's always going to be there, and it's going to be protected, but just to show you, this is why it's made like this, so it can molly attach to your equipment, uh, whether on the inside or the outside, but it is nice because it's just one little pop of a tab, pull it out and now you have access to everything that you want in there. And uh, when you're done with it, same thing, just put it back, snap it closed, and uh, your container and the contents of said container are protected and stowed and carried. And I mean, I'm pulling, I'm pulling with all my might and uh, it's not budging. So it's on there pretty securely. All right, let's pop her open and take a look inside because this is the XL, so it's the larger variant, the extra large variant. Um, and it does come with a little divider. Now this divider is removable, however, if you are storing batteries of any variety, it's probably a good idea to keep it in there. That being said, uh, if you are not storing batteries or even if you are and you wanna cram more stuff in there or whatever it is, uh, store at your own risk. Uh, it is removable, so then you can stuff even more stuff down there so more fire starting equipment more water purification equipment um more important documents via you know sd card or whatever it may be um there's a lot of uses uh that even a container this small but yet air and water tight there's a look at the o-ring there and uh, again it seals up quite nicely it's very sturdy you guys saw me i'm literally tugging it now it's behind the tripod it's kind of awkward but I'm literally tugging it and not giving it a break, and it held. And all it clips into is this little tab down here. So I would argue rather impressive. Um, pretty good design, solid design. So again, you do have this removable divider, and it's high vis in case you do drop it on the ground, you lose it, whatever. Hopefully, you'll be able to find it. And then, of course, you have these little interfacing slots or notches, and uh, that goes. Well, now I'm all messed up. <laughs> it goes, these little things, these little tabs interface with that. That's how you line it up. You stick it in there, and then boom. So uh, just for posterity's sake, uh, we can assume, we can imagine, since uh, it's selled out, these are it's all about cells, the therm or theorem cell vault, and our, our batteries are cells, and we're made up of cells, and... One of the best evil guys in Dragon Ball Z ever was named Cell and whatever it is. Um, just really ragingly autistic right now. <laughs> but uh, we can see that, you know, one, two, three, it says it holds six CR-123s. It looks like it would. But uh, just for, uh, for video's sake, let's see. So, one CR-123. Two CR-123. 3 CR-123, okay, and that's loaded to the top on one side. You still have plenty of clearance and uh, clearance, clearance, and uh, here we go again. Oh, so that side's a little tight, although it's probably because my dumbass put the, um, the little divider in not perfectly, but still hold six for sure. Locks, latches, protected from water, air, whatever it may be, attaches to your kit. Again, multiple lanyard points all over this thing. And uh, you can get it in all types of tactical colors. So honestly, I think for the money, it's a really nice piece of kit. It's something super simple, but I think it's well designed. And I think for its intended purpose, it's very small, very lightweight. You can carry enough of the goodies in here that you would need again you know the the world is your oyster so little fishing kit survival kit 
waterproof matches and, and Tinder or whatever it is. You know, again, important documents saved on an SD card that prove your identity or this, that, and the third or the, the freaking nuclear launch codes. Whatever you got to keep very protected from water, air, just keep it on you, keep it attached to you um, or organized inside of a pack. I think these things work great for that. And um, yeah, it's a simple thing that costs some money. So are people just going to wrap their crap in a Ziploc bag and will most of the time that probably work out? Perhaps. But if you want to make sure, check these things out. I think they're worth it. Also, side note, another dastardly digression, um, Surefire batteries. Stay away from the Amazon basic stuff, whatever. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, I have no idea if they're the exact same battery, just wrapped differently. But I like to imagine or believe that since Surefire is putting their name on it and they uphold a reputation for reliability and durability uh, for good reason, that this is probably a better battery. Uh, again, might be more expensive, but if you're putting it in night vision, in EOTEX, in LAMs, in handheld flashlights, weapon lights, whatever it may be, all those things are super important and uh, they need to work when you need them. So power them with a proper cell, my opinion. Speaking of cells, we'll bring the Cell Vault XL back into picture here and uh, close this thing out. It's already gone far too long as it is to talk about such a... It's literally just a piece of plastic, people. Um, but it's an O-ring sealed piece of plastic that will properly protect whatever pertinent equipment that uh, you may need with you. It also, in several ways, attaches itself to your other equipment and uh, therefore makes it easy, convenient air and water tight and again for batteries for important documents stored on SD cards or any information or whatever it is um, survival equipment it's probably one of the best options you have on the market now again I don't know I think this thing is like close to 30 bucks maybe a little bit less than 30 bucks and again a simple mechanism and most people will be like ah a freaking ziplock bag and some rubber bands you'd be all right um, maybe maybe not and uh, for Life and Liberty Kit, I choose not to risk it for the biscuit. I want it, be, I want it to be squared away um, as much as possible. And if I got to spend a couple extra bucks, hey, it's made in the USA. I got no problem doing that any day. So with that being said, make sure you check all the links in the description box below, especially the first three. Those are to help you fight for your God-given, inalienable, constitutionally protected and reaffirmed but inherent by birth gun rights, people. Somebody's got to do it. That's us. And uh, check all the other links pinned in the comment section. All that stuff has a bunch of cool stuff. There's discount codes. There's goodies. All types of equipment just like this that you might want to add to your kit. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe because that stuff helps out an absolute ton, and it costs you absolutely nothing, so it's the least you could do, right? But uh, anyway, stay tuned, because there's a bunch more of gear review videos, and night vision, and range videos, and competition videos, and live chats, and political discussions, and prepper pointers, and everything under the sun here on the Terribly Tactical channel. So until next time, remember to live as constitutionally as you feel comfortable, and bitches, you should be putting a Snuggie on. Don't you ever forget...